without seed there is no food. The importance of protecting these collections is that we make them available for now and future years, but that we also ensure that they are adapting to the changing environment year on year. Protecting indigenous seed and allowing farmers to actually grow and save their own seed so that they can have seed year on year. If you only grow one type of crop and it gets disease or it gets attacked by a pest, then it's gone. You need to explore and ensure that you're actually protecting the diversity of the seed. Irish Seed Service Association mission statement is to create a central store of food seed and fruit trees for now and future generations. Our mission has developed to include education and outreach to connect more people to what we do so that they can actually replicate our work in their gardens, their farms and the communities. The Community Seed Guardian programme, the purpose is to ensure communities can have their own seed collections, create their own seed hubs and not rely on imported seed. With our Community Seed Guardian program, we are training 10 community garden groups around the country. We are in fact in the Seed Saver program, which means they're giving us lessons in how to properly harvest seeds. So we have a monthly lecture with them. And they go through in detail everything that we need to do. And that means that by the end of the year, we'll be a, a proper nominated Seed Guardian program. The value of seed resilience is without seed, there is no food. We need to ensure that we're protecting the genetic diversity of seed, that we're making seed available for people to grow, and that we're reducing reliance on monocrop cultures, and also that we are reducing the reliance on hybridized seed, but that we can actually ensure the seed is available year on year, adapts to the environment, and is available for people to grow their own food and save their own seed for the future. We have a whole collection of about six to seven hundred different varieties of seeds and they're all stored in ideal conditions, so really cool and dry and dark so that they'll last for as long as they possibly can before they need growing out again. From the seed to the crop that's grown to the things that are sprayed on it to the engineering of those crops are being owned by massive great global corporations. So it means small people that just want to grow their food, have localised food, have interesting crops. There's no room for that in those places. That's why this work's valuable. And there's so few people doing it. Our educational workshops are varied. They are for community gardening groups, hobby gardeners and market gardeners that want to learn how to grow and save their own seed, but also how to grow and protect biodiversity and learn organic horticultural skills. The purpose of it is to build resilience within communities so that they can create their own seed collections that they can use for now and for future years. We do lots and lots of things, as you can imagine, with community and garden. There's lots of community stuff, but also lots and lots of gardening. In fact, you can see the results of some of our labours here, which in fact have come from seed savers. We get their seeds every year. Uh, we try and get native Irish seeds, and then sometimes we even harvest the seeds from these because the more they're used to the area they've grown in, the better they'll grow. So we've had these all winter long. We have a wide variety of vegetables and fruit. Um, some of the most popular things are, are berries like raspberries, gooseberries, blackberries. There's a great wheat project we do where they're growing from seeds to turning it into wheat. We'll mill it and it'll get turned into pizza. We did it last year. We have some social hops things going on where we grow hops that get turned into beer. Irish Seed Savers use Facebook groups for our Community Seed Guardian programme and it allows an opportunity for the various groups that are part of this programme to actually connect together and for us to give them updates and follow on with our training so that they're benefiting from the programme overall. I do believe that the demand for seed is going to continue. I think more people are now starting to consider from where their seed comes and more people are now showing an interest in learning the skills of seed saving. The crop that you're growing and the food that you're creating and then to save your own seed as well so you're fully in charge of the whole cycle. Totally sustainable, totally self-sufficient.